Hi guys, I'm at the hospital with Victoria. I look horrible right now. Um, it's been a long 24 hours. Have not slept much and Victoria is not well. Um, so I rushed her over here early this morning to see Dr. Loudis. And uh, I don't know if you guys follow our streams, but I kind of sensed something was off. And so I made an appointment we were here earlier, um, and so basically what has happened was two years ago, Victoria had a hysterectomy to save her life because her body was such a mess because she was um, neglected and starved before uh, she was rescued. So her body was just a mess after that, and she had all kinds of hormonal issues, and she had eggs inside of her that would not come out. They would basically, they would not form right. There would just be a yolk and the shell would be stuck to her uterus. And he, when he went in to do the hysterectomy, he found like three eggshells that looked like gum attached to her uterus that had been there. So she was in bad shape with lots of scar tissue. So during that, there she is. D during that, uh, she doesn't feel well. During that, he removed as much as the uterus as possible. He could not remove the ovary. It would have killed her. It, it, it would have killed her. And, um, but unfortunately she can still produce egg yolk. So that is what has happened. He drew blood and her blood was orange. She has egg yolk in her system now. And it has created basically a, a secondary infection. Um, so basically what we think has happened is, sorry, I'm losing my voice over everything that's going on right now. Uh, there's a couple of things that could happen. Um, th there's egg yolk in her belly, we know this. Uh, there's a chance also the ovary has fallen off and it's sitting inside her belly as well. So what happens with that is the body has to absorb it and um, it, it just takes a lot out of them. It puts a lot of strain on her liver um, is what her bio acids, the blood test is showing. Uh, her body is working over time. And on top of that, it creates a lot of calcium buildup. And so therefore she's in a lot of pain right now. Um, and what was scary uh, this morning, she Victoria didn't recognize me. She, she didn't recognize me. She didn't know who I was. Uh, and that was so scary as well. Um, and another thing is she's going blind. Uh, he just did a an eye exam and uh, she's almost completely blind in one eye. So all this is happening at once. Like, so she's losing her sight. Things are progressing very quickly. And uh, what he has done is he's given her a medic cam shot or Mox cam shot. He gave her a Lupron shot, which helps shut down all her um, hormones. She had a Lupron shot three weeks ago but usually what happens is you give them back to back and this is not recommended unless it's used to save a bird's life and this is what we're doing right now we're we're buying time you know that's all we could do i asked him if he could go in and remove the ovary um that's causing this problem and he said he he can't he, he, he she will not make it so all we can do is what we're doing right now um, buying time, taking it day by day, she, we're hoping that she's going to have some more good days and we're going to get through this really bad one today, which is really bad. And unfortunately, it's happening during the holidays where, you know, it's just crazy. So we're just lucky to be here. But that's what's going on. Um, right now, she's in pain. So hopefully that Moxicam shot will help. Um, I have Beatrice for infection. I have... Um, uh, Meloxicam for pain them and they give her they gave her the injection so it helps her right away uh, we're we're sitting here because she had a Lupron shot last time she had a bad reaction to the Lupron shot so we're just sitting here to make sure she doesn't have a reaction I'm gonna take her home I'm gonna watch her carefully and I'm just gonna uh, appreciate every day that I have with her right because You just don't know, we just don't know. But I am so thankful for Dr. Loudis because if it wasn't for his quick thinking two years ago, if you guys have watched those Victoria Cockatoo videos, 
she wouldn't be here. I would not have had those extra year, two years to spoil her, right? And give her love because she didn't have that before she came to me. So I'm hoping that we can get past this and we can have another two years. But um, what can I say, you guys? The parent crisis is, it's an epidemic. And um, it's okay, baby. There are so many birds stuck in it that are victims and need help and rescue. So please, please adopt, support rescues and sanctuaries. These birds need your help. There's more birds like Victoria that will never get help or get those two years to be loved. I'll keep you guys updated. This was not the video I intended to do, but um, this is what's happening right now. Bye guys, we love you.